Have we already started? I don't know. Did we? Hi, everyone. <laughs> In there. <laughs> oh, slay. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Smut Couch. <gasps> you guys, um, first of all, we just have to say thank you so much to everybody who's been listening, commenting, liking, sharing, chit-chatting. All we live! Love. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. I know. And um, we would l- also thank you more if it kept happening. Please. <laughs> Especially <laughs> because then. we're having fun, and it seems like you're having fun. And so we're just going to all be friends, having fun, talking about these silly little smutty books. Fun little book club moment. It yeah. is. It's giving book club. It's good. Gi- okay. I don't know if I don't know if this really will um, uh, resonate with our international audiences, but like friend, like friends from the U.S. Did you ever have those like scholastic book fairs? Oh yeah, the book club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean book fair. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? <laughs> when they would have like they would bring like all of the books and you would like go shopping around and mm-hmm. oh, this is giving that That's and like some money so you could go on in there. Yeah. yeah so uh, parents would send you with like ten dollars and you'd buy these little books when ten dollars could buy a book guys we're yeah. old now I'm, i just i just bought um house Rest of city three, yeah because yeah. city three for 25 dollars <laughs> <That's fine, laughs> yeah. yeah but anyways this is giving that and it's so much fun and i'm so glad that y'all are listening and having as much fun as we are and to like show that a little bit we're gonna start this episode off with what was most recommended from our one of our previous episodes? Mm-hmm. We're back in it with the Dramani train. If yes, my y'all, hat is any giveaway. If there's anything about you guys, you guys love Dramani, mm-hmm. and I'm so glad. Welcome to yes. the world of Dramani. And I knew it was a big thing, but like I think it's fun seeing how much people do care. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no. because it's it's like niche. It's like kind of niche. Like it's very niche. I mean, I didn't I didn't know before I met you. I didn't know people like still are in that you know what i'm saying i mean i remember because i don't know if you remember on tiktok a few years ago like harry potter was like the moment and that's when like tom felton like when people were shifting do you remember that i do remember shifting i don't remember it being a big thing on like tiktok yes it was a big thing because that was like 2020 um and i remember harry potter was like a big thing on had a lot going on that year (laughs) yeah we were coping in ways that we needed to and i i like think i kind of heard about jermione then but i didn't realize that it was this beloved yeah. As it is. No, it's you experienced it at New Year's, I think, where you mentioned that you had read Manacled. Oh my gosh. Somebody at a New Year's party. Yes, I mentioned it at a New Year's party. And this girl made a TikTok of uh, her screaming. I'm a pretty loud person, in case you guys haven't figured that out. What? And I met a girl louder than me screaming about Manacled at a New Year's Eve party. And Hermione, rise up. Hermione, rise up. I love it. So, with that in mind, that brings us to today's episode of Draco Malfoy and the mortifying ordeal of being in love. But before we Woo! do that, we have to put a huge special thanks to our friend Trent Navarro Yay! for doing our new artwork, if you guys notice. You guys, aren't we kind of giving famous? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about seeing yourself drawn like in a little form. Yeah. You're like, it's kind of giving like, am I Beyonce? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not, but do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we're thank almost you. there. We have a thousand followers on Instagram. We're basically 1,500. Okay, please, every one of them matters. Okay. Love you, you all guys. Do. We love you all very, very much. 1,500. Anyways, Trent, thank you so much. You really yeah. ate with that. So he is also an author too. So we should probably mm-hmm. review his book on the Smudge oh Couch gosh, at one point. Should. It's called The Widow and the Holler. Trent Navarro. Yeah. By Trent Navarro. Check it out. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Now, with that plug out of the way, yeah. thanks again, Trent. <laughs> thanks, Trent. Um, back to Draco Malfoy and the mortifying ordeal of being in love. First things first, what a title. It was, but a fitting one, you know? Yes. Like, oh, and it's also, it's by, is this is self care, right? Is the yeah. Name of the is this self care? Yes. Work. Love your work, bestie. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's, I was chuckling throughout this entire one it's so cute so fun i was giggling and kicking my feet compared to our last uh dramini episode which Mm -hmm. is just an epic tale of tragedy and pain and suffering manacled this one had me going "Hmm, i know and this is only the second dramini i've ever read oh yeah that's um, right because i've only read manacled and then this there are a lot of fun ones yeah yeah what a like what a 180 Mm -hmm. but i i adored it yeah, thank you again to everyone who recommended that we do this one. I know. You guys really ate with that. We'll listen to you guys because you guys are smart. Yeah. Obviously, they follow us. They have to be um, smart. Well, I did say that it's not like a long, epic suffering journey. It is such a slow burn Like that yes. y'all are some sick people out there for, you know, just recommending this, thinking, it's oh, yeah, no. It's the slowest of burns. It's great. 
I was banging my head against the wall. I like, know. please, please, let's just just kiss already. Just kiss. You I, both it like hurts to kiss. To just kiss. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it's written so well. Yes. Like where Manicold, like the story itself is phenomenal. The writing is phenomenal. This is one that I would put in a category of just like the story itself is solid throughout, but yeah. the writing is superb. Like I No, the writing was excellent. It's so clever. It's, it's so clever, natural. it's witty, it's smart, it fits so well in the world that we already mm-hmm. know, while also expanding upon it so well. And like because they go, they go all, all sorts of wackadoodle places that you would have yeah. thought, like you never would have thought you'd see these characters mm-hmm. in. And it, it, you're not like that's kind of wacky. You're like, no, of course. For those of you who have read it, nuns, nuns, What's going on with nuns. You know, for those of you who haven't read it yet, I guess you should stay tuned or read it so that you can get that joke. If you haven't read it, do it now because it's, it's deli- like truly delightful. Mm-hmm. You know, I delightful is a. Perfect like, word for this fic. Yes, like I fully had a smile on my face many times. I was giggling. And so, with that in mind, do you, should we hop on into yeah, it? Yeah, we're gonna kind of do what kind of what we did manacled with manacled, where we kind of go through it. However, the story is not as like it's not Intense. like a saga and like yeah. with crazy twists and turns. It's a little more straightforward. So we're gonna go through it and chit chat. It's very nice that there's like no real trigger warnings in this apartment. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Maybe some right. intense scenes of like action. Yeah, but, like, but even then, like. For the most part, it's light. Too much. Light, sweet, fun. Okay, so let me read the synopsis for you guys. Yes, give us a synopsis. So, Hermione straddles the muggle and magical worlds as a medical researcher and healer about to make a big discovery. Draco is an auror assigned to protect her from forces unknown Mm -hmm. to both of their displeasure. Mm. So, this features hyper-competent, fiery Hermione and lazy yet dangerous Draco. And then it puts immediately slow burn. That should have been in the trigger warnings from the get go. That is a trigger warning. That's the biggest trigger warning. (laughs) Like you will get frustrated. (laughs) I, all right, bit of backstory of the process of reading this. I just finished this an hour ago. Guys, like imagine me, okay, going about my life, la di da da yesterday, getting a text from Alexandra saying, oh, I'm 50% through it. This is 200,000 words long. It's not a short little moment. I was like, you are lying. It was at eight o'clock last night. Eight o'clock last night. <laughs> I was sitting down to go see a musical with my best friend. I get that text. But, you know, you did it. I did it. Absolutely. You should plug um, the video. Oh, yeah. I found this uh, audiobook have, version. Yeah, he couldn't have done it without this. On YouTube. And it was by, let me see if I can find where they exist right now. Did you say it was like S yes. something? Yes, SEP Fanfic Readings. You are a lifesaver. Thank you, 1.5 speed audiobooks. Because I, I binged through those at a crazy <laughs> speed. Which is wild because I thought for sure you would have finished before me. I, I had a busy week. Man. Yeah, I mean, so I was not. surprised too that I was like, I'm only 50% through. Oh my yeah. God, we're filming this tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I, I listened to, I w- split my time between reading it on my Kindle and then listening to it. And I listened to it on Spotify by uh, ETL Audio. Thank y'all too. Yeah. So those of you who put in the time to, you know, so record cool. this because, you know, there's mm-hmm. no profit to be made from it because mm-hmm. it's all copyrighted yeah. content. So it has to only be for, for the pleasure fun. of it. Yeah. Good for you, you guys. guys are the real heroes. Truly. You saved us. Okay, anyways, let's get into it. Yes. So, as I said, Draco Malfoy is an or in this universe assigned to protect Hermione He Ranger. works. Oh, also, they're like 30. Yes, so it's they're about a little, 15 or, years after yeah. the Battle of Hogwarts. Everything mm-hmm. kind of worked out a lot better in this universe. For example, yes. Tonks and Remus Lupin are still alive. Which, the first time I, I heard, I, like, read their names, I was like, huh? But work, I live. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... For those of you who remember in the canon universe, they both died in the Battle of Hogwarts. Mm-hmm. This one, they're still alive. And yeah. Tonks is the head or yes, she running is. the department uh, with Harry and Ron. Yeah, Harry and Ron work with Draco. And they're kind of like, they kind of get along. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, like all kinda, yeah. they're all adults now. It's been 15 like, years. Like, eh, water under the bridge. Draco was a child soldier at this point. He's, yeah. ma- he's paid his dues, yeah. essentially. Um, and they don't really, what's great about this fic is that they don't really linger on the war too much as a part to like referencing that it did happen and they, some, in some ways are still carrying some scars from it. Of course. We'll get to. Right. But. Oh, that was a good, that was a good, I see where you're going Mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Hermione though has been off healing very much kind of like manacled. She's got a healer spirit, I think. That's why. She does. Look at her go. But she's not only healing like in the magical world, she also like. Is a doctor. Is a muggle doctor. Is a muggle well. doctor, which you come on, our little mud blood. Oh, hey, 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 hey. 
Hey, yo. I say that with all the love in my heart. That's Our little muggle-born a queen. Bad word. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get sorry. demonetized. No, I live. Not monetized. <laughs> um, we will be. Yes. Yeah, so there's mm -hmm. a. This is the first example of like how well written this is. That every mm -hmm. single time when Draco first goes to like complete this assignment is that he's walking on up to go check in with Granger because. Uh, Minister of Magic Kingsley Shacklebolt is like Granger has made a breakthrough top secret you can't know what it is but she needs protection because there might be people that are going to be mad about this discovery right so he's all like ah crap because you know he hasn't really talked to her for years and like you know they didn't get along in yeah because he he's was like, kind of a piece of Ranger. shit and, like, he admits that he's like I, I was not the best yeah. she was a bit annoying she was high strong annoying girl mm -hmm. and you know I was I was the worse, okay. Well, yes, and he's admitted that, and he's mm -hmm. you know he's 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 a better person now. Yes, he's a bit of a snarky asshole, but we love that. Oh, don't we? Oh my god! And <laughs> the whole fic takes place from Draco's POV. I would love to read one from Hermione's. I was shocked when I realized that it was from his POV. Yeah, most of them are from Hermione's that I've read. So this yeah. was like, it was fun. kind of so fun, like because he is so snarky mm -hmm. and like the humor in him because. Yeah, he was such a little dick as a kid. And so, like, watching him, you're like, like, as an adult and his thoughts, like, he still kind of is, like, dickish, you know? Yeah. But, like, in a way where you're kind of like, you know what I mean? Anyway, so he goes to where Granger's lab is at, like, Cambridge University, I think, because there's a magical section of it. Right. He walks on up to the front gate. He's all like, is Granger here? And they mean, you mean Professor Granger? He was like, Excuse me, Professor Granger, is she yeah, here? And like, then he's uh, like, uh, yeah. And he like walks on in, then he asks the student, hey, where's Granger's office? You mean Dr. Granger? And it's like, It's Bro. so good. He's like, shut up. And he finally gets to the magical section, you know, taps his wand against the wall so it opens up. And he's like, is Granger here? You mean healer? Granger, he's like, oh my God. I understand. She has the all these titles because she's, she's literally. Oh, because of course she does. She, you know, she works too much. Yeah, overachiever. To the max, and yeah. she continues to be, and like she's made breakthroughs in like the Muggle world as well, the yeah. magical world. She's everything. And so they meet up, and Granger's like, you know, I really don't want this aura protection. It's going to be mm -hmm. a huge inconvenience. And he's like, I agree, but how about I just set up some wards, and we'll come up with like a way that like we can both not interfere with each other's lives. Yeah, because they're both kind of much. like, oh, because it's like kind of an over uh, reaction that like they're already jumping to. Or protection around the clock. And they're right. both like, there's no real evidence that anything's going to happen. He's like, all right, what are you working on? She's like, I'll never tell. Yeah. And she doesn't for a long time. And what's what's kind of cool about this is that, you know, around her office is that she does use technology. Which yes. Which is confusing because it's like magic interferes with technology and they both don't right. work together. But she's created a system that like kind of it's so self isolates, cool. mm -hmm. you know, the magic and the electronics so that like they can remain separate and, and, and work together. So what she's been doing for some things is transcribing like magical documents onto like Word doc essentially. Yeah. Just being like, I'm tired of looking through tw 20,000 tomes to find one so piece valid. of information about a potion. And this like blows Draco's mind. He's like, he's like, what is, what a, is computer? a computer? <laughs> Literally, he's like, what do you mean? <laughs> and he, I love the like, there's like funny things about like cell phones. Mm -hmm. You know, she's also invented, wait, that's kind of a, that kind of is later. Yeah. But, but like, yeah, so basically there's these things going around right now that are replacing owls called jotters, which is like a little book essentially that you yeah. can write someone's name in and then it'll connect to their jotter. She right. eventually, it's eventually, essentially, ah, cell phones and right. quick texting. She's created that because of how useful cell phones are. And he's like, it's just crazy. And it, she, she, it's just. And she's just she's so raking so in the smart. dough, but yeah, like spending it all on her research. Yes, as she would. So basically, we end up with this almost kind of forced proximity, but not like too close. But they have we to work together. Boy, don't oh, we? No, they, they don't have like to each work other together. And they have to hang out. Enemies to lovers. Oh, I'm oh, so I hate bummed. that. Hope they don't kiss. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> so throughout all this, uh, Draco comes up with a way that like he can, you know not really impede on her life. He gets her what used to be like the wedding rings between his father and mother. They're like yeah. the honorary ones because there's like a connection between them. So he edits them so that one of them can serve as a port key mm -hmm. and like the connection is only one way so that she's not connected to him. Yes. Gives her the ring and she, and he, she's all like, what? why are you giving me this ring? Hi, Come ring. On. And he's like, it's not like that. It's just, it will mean that I can like, you know, be aware if anything ever goes wrong. Yeah. He can like tell can, if she's in danger. He can, yeah. and then just show up to her immediately because of the port key in the ring. Doing, yeah. you know, all your bullshit that you like to do. Yeah. 
one thing about this book is they use the word baddie so much. Oh, yeah, a baddie. <laughs> but they by baddie they mean a bad guy, but they keep saying baddie and it's baddies. Um, it's sending me to the moon and back. It's yeah. As baddie Mary herself, it truly is sending me. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I just had to bring that up. So she's still continuing her research on this mm -hmm. secret project and she can't tell Draco what it is. Um, at one point, she has to go looking for ingredients at like certain holidays because when their magical potency is at their highest. Yeah, they're all kind of like like pagan holidays mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's all, I always find that funny that like they celebrate Christmas in Harry Potter. Yeah. This is, this is not my bit here, by the way. This is something I saw on TikTok. Uh -huh. and it's like when Jesus just be a normal dude. Yeah, they're yeah, like that's that? not, they're like miracles. But we have it's magic. like he turns water into wine. That's just like a random dude. <laughs> in the Harry Potter universe. That's funny. Okay, um, that's not my bit though. I don't yeah. know whose it is, but good for you not claiming is. it, no, white man. That was hey, good. Hey, wow, we learned. I'm one of the good ones. Mm. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, so they go out looking for this ingredient, and Draco accompanies her just because, like, you know, he doesn't want her to be unprotected. Right. And during this moment, she needs like, oh, I just need this spring water from this hidden well that's magical. Is and this like, the one when they go to Scotland? Or is that later? No, Scotland is the later one. Okay. So they hop on down. She's like, it's this magical well, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. We have to go down this port he here and they fall through a grate. Yes. And there's these two like ominous hags guarding the way. Yes, of course. That are like immortal deities, essentially. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you can pass, dearie. And then they're like... Like, I'll turn your brain to mush, Draco. Ooh. He's all, okay. I was like really pissed. That it's like, that was like not dangerous for you. Yeah. Word. And they're kind of just like arguing back and forth. The usual bickering. Of course. And whatnot. Enemies to lovers bickering that we love. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they keep doing that. Mm -hmm. All the meanwhile, Draco keeps doing his normal job, not interfering with Granger's life yes. too much. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, they find... An equilibrium, as Draco likes to keep saying. Yes. With it. And that, you know, they're not inter interfering with each other. You know, they don't like it, but he'll keep so checking. professional. To check the He's wards and stuff like duties. that. Um, at one point, what I love about his comments about Hermione as they go on is all like, I definitely didn't notice how nice her legs were right then. Anyway. Also, he is so perplexed by her leggings. His mm -hmm. disdain for muggle clothing mm -hmm. is so funny then to me. Then all of a sudden, he's all like, well, I am an ass guy, though. So he's like, wait, on. these leggings? Are, ooh. Hold on. <laughs> this muggle clothing is growing up. It's crazy. If you know what I mean. When he said that, I, when he said <laughs> that, I was like, girl, please. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. So. I wrote down in my notes, not the wizard aura ring. Do you know what an aura ring is? No. Oh, an aura ring is what people are using to replace. Mood um, rings? No, they're re to replace Apple Watches. And so they they track like your heart. They can track your fitness stuff. They can track your sleeping. Oh, he just. And it's like a one. big thing. And so he basically gave oh, her they an call aura it a ring. Fitbit, though, in the thing. Yes, he's like, oh, she's yeah. like, oh, a Fitbit? And it's an like, aura ring. What is a bit fit? And she's like, no, no, no. sweetie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Work. Um, just because everything he like comes up with it already kind of like exists in the magic world. And he's like, I'm so smart. And she's like, you're wow. actually not. Yeah, good job, bud. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So they this whole while as well. Um, his mother Narcissa, Lucius Malfoy's dead, by the way. Yeah, he died, died in Azkaban. Sorry, buddy. This is shit. Um, Narcissa yeah. and him are like oh, able yeah. to go on because of like the way they turned during the war and like we're able to save Harry Potter and everything. But they also are very aware of their public perception, mm -hmm. and they want like Narcissa's kind of trying to like patch their how they're perceived trying to make sure that they damage people control. don't know yeah damage control and so they um she wants to be seen with the right people she's trying to set draco up with the right people because yes. they're like 30 and like He's they're like we gotta get married 30, and she's like yeah it's time to get married so she keeps you know yeah having tea parties so that they can meet up and mm -hmm. everything Draco's like, I'm going to stay a bachelor forever. Yeah, he's Single like, Single for life, me and the boys. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to, you know, get what I need, and, and then boy, I'm out of there. Yep, we're good for him. Um, so at one of these tea parties that he couldn't get away from, mm -hmm. um, they're talking about this hospital event that is being thrown by these rich benefactors because, you know, um, you know, Draco's kind of tuning in and out. During yeah. This, so he's, like, not really paying attention. Yeah, he doesn't care. He, doesn't, he really does not care. No. He's not interested in this girl at all. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, yeah, no, so we're going to this huge thing for St. Mungo's, and we honor if you came. And Draco's kind of, like, agreeing to it. Yeah. While also, like, writing down on the jotter to, like, annoy Granger, because Granger's, like, annoying they him. Like, so they, like, start, like, writing back. texting. They're bickering, sort of. And he's like, shut up. And yep. he's like, no, you shut up. And he's like, nah, uh That's kind of, it goes like that. Huh? Slow burn, Third? guys. Yeah, it's slow so burn. slow. <laughs> slow burn. Oh. 
Um, okay, so there's the orphan. Okay, th- and then but that's he not for what. He agrees to go to the party. He agrees to go. La da 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 da. And he's thinking, all right, it's for orphans or something. Yeah. That chapter is called the party slash orphans or something. Yes. So the chapters give you the right idea of the vibes for this. It's bo- so good. For this story. Yeah. And it's, the vibes are good. Throughout. The vibes are it. Um, and then of course, who's at the party? Mm-hmm. Miss Girl. Miss Hermione Granger in a backless green dress. Because why wouldn't heels. she be in that? Abs- so he's talking with Theo Knott and Blaze Zambini. For those of you who don't know, those yes. are like the two BFFs usually in most mm-hmm. fics. Yeah. And I like when they're friends because the squad is always like a good vibe. Theo yes. Not, I'm silly. pretty sure is an original character. I don't think he's in any of the actual books. I couldn't tell you. Blaze, I know for a fact, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like they were basically all besties in Slytherin mm-hmm. and they're vibing now as adults. Theo Knott's a little stinker. Being, well, yes. being a silly little fella. Yeah. And they're all talking about like, all right, well, let's let's start being Looking at the ladies. Let's check out the ladies. Ladies. <laughs> um, and Draco keeps checking out this one girl in a green backless From dress. And he's like, backside. I know Blaze called the brunettes, but I'm going to move on in. Like that girl's kind of hot over there. Hey, why don't you introduce me to your friend? Granger, what the fuck? Yep. Because of course, and, and he's like, oh, never mind, never mind, never kind mind. Kind of upset of like, why was I attracted to her? Why is she attractive, huh? <gasps> why girl pretty? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of how his brain starts working. And yeah, the whole I, time it's just him, kind of like, wait, is she? Is she? Is she? And we're all like, yes, 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 yes. And like the way it's written is so great because it's like he tried to recover, and then he says something. It's like he recovered badly. Yes. <laughs> And it's it's like, always roasting him. Mm-hmm, it's he's get he gets roasted. Is this self care? You you ate with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they do that, and then he finds out that this event is actually for um, Granger because she saved this one dude's life. Yeah, who's like super rich, and she, he's like, "Oh, would you save him?" And she's like, "Can't say." Mm-hmm. Healer patient confidentiality. God, she's we so never cool. find out what he had, but like, I mean, I think we kind of figure out probably. No, because like they hadn't gone to human trials for that one thing yet. Oh, true. So, True, true, true. Spoilers. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> yes. And then, you know, they get to chat in a little bit and they have a good time there. Uh, Cormac McLadden is at this party as well. And if there's anything very, about him, he's going to be a little. He's, he's always going to be uncomfy. Yeah. Yeah. And he's still been, for, he's the guy who was a Gryffindor, big, yep. bulky guy, mm-hmm. still pursuing Hermione a little bit. And it's been very. And she's like not down. No. No. And it's very apparent that she's not. Yeah. So but I, he just. You know, she doesn't know what she wants. Ah! It's that mentality. Ah, yes, she does. I don't, if I don't. anyone knows what she wants, it's her. Mm-hmm. So, the next thing they need is some ash from some fires <gasps> at a uh, Beltane. Okay, yes. So, in this, they journey to Scotland on a broom. Oh, look at that. Yes, hey, on a broom. That. And she's scared of flying. So, he's like, well, he's like, I got you, baby. It's not like that at all, but that's like the subtext. You know what I'm saying? missed the ferry because she was working too much. Yes, workaholic. There. Mm-hmm. I Just side tangent. I have been to Scotland and I went to the an Orkney island. And I didn't go to that island specifically, but I went to um, the Isle of Arran. And um, so, like, d- reading this part, I was like, ah, because I kind of have like a, like, I've been. I once got lost on a Scottish island. It's a lot of green. Um, by my and I was by, just me and my friend, and it was really scary, and I cried, um, and I almost missed my ferry home. So, but I wouldn't have had Draco Malfoy to yeah, you fly me. Oh, no, home while but, holding you and making sure you don't fall. I know. Ugh. But reading this, I was like, oh my god, it made me so happy because I've been over there. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Anyways, so they fly over in the ice cold rain. Yes. And like, and there were the la, um, what are those called? Oh, the hippocampi? Hippocampi, yes. Hippocampuses. Hippocampi, hippocampuses. They, they the have water a debate about what horses. the correct pronunciation is because hippocampus yeah. is an English word now. Mm. And so it would be hippocampuses or hippocampodes mm. because that's the Greek version, hippocampodes. Well, if he's going to say anything, it's the Greek version. <laughs> so, if you guys didn't know, I'm Greek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it at least six times a show. Yes, he will. Hi, listeners in Greece. We know you're out there. That's probably just my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Alexandros' uncle. Oh, that's cute. Anyways, so yeah, they got to go get these ash from these fires on Beltane in Scotland. Mm-hmm. So they show up a little bit mm-hmm. late, so all the fires are dying out. So they have oh. to wait for one of the fires to finish smoldering. So they gather high smolder by the fire, curl up because it's so nice and cold. Mm-hmm. They get a little blanket, mm-hmm. sit by the fire. Yeah, she falls asleep on his shoulder because cause she's had course. such a long day. Yes, oh. And he stays awake naturally and is yes, like, I guess I could doze off for a little. He sets a little alarm with his magically. <gasps> and then like he drifts off for a bit. And then like she wakes up and is like, you should have just woke him up. He's like, it was fine. Here, the fire is just now burning out. Let's collect the so smolder. Cozy. 
and get on out of here. They have a nice little picnic moment as well right there. It's so romantic, but not it's, romance yet. Do you dude, know what I, I, mean? I was swooning. From so was I. I was giggling. I, like the great thing about slow burn. I know, because... The anticipation that she builds is crazy. It's and it's and it's so, from the get go. It's so good. Oh my god! <laughs> For those of you who read it, you understand. And you were saying this in our comments the entire time of like, it's so good. We get it. We know, and we, we thank you. And it's this is for most stories like this though. I I like the the brushing of hands mm -hmm. before like they actually kiss more. Like once they're kissing, I'm like, all right, they're kissing. Yeah, cool. we got Let's there. Let's keep we got on there. going. But like when they're like, and they accidentally brushed fingers, I'm like, oh my God, they accidentally I, brushed fingers? It's the, it's the pride okay. and prejudice of it all. Mm -hmm. oh, the of hand like the hand flex where you're like, oh, like that tension. There's just nothing mm -hmm. like it. Are they just looking at each other quietly? Oh my God, they might kiss. They might, and they don't, but you, the, the want was there and mm -hmm. that's what matters. Yes, yeah, so they get that Ash Her. and everything. Yeah. They fly on back. Well, they take the ferry back. She's like, because Hermione Granger hates flying as a yeah, key for it. So, like, when she took that broomstick flight, mm -hmm. it was a huge jump of leap of faith with yeah, Draco. And she, yeah, she twisted him. So, that was yeah. good. Um, okay, now where are we? We are now moving on to. Um, Should we just go? We can skip ahead to that. Yeah, let's skip ahead to the next interesting yeah. part because it's a lot of this for a little bit. And yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all very well written, so it's enjoyable to go through. Right. But there's a it's long. So yeah, let's skip to that. So um she needs to get Mary Magdalene's skull. Like just a little piece, just a small piece. Oh, I just need to go get one little thing. Of the skull of Mary, Mary Magdalene. Magdalene's skull. Well, so yes. Had bit. And he's like, girl, what are you talking about? And she's like, come on, we're gonna go. We're gonna pretend like we're a married couple on their honeymoon, and we're gonna go to the France where her I, which is she really buried in France? Yeah, she is. Her, her skull is on display. Did you not see it? No, I didn't know that. In the photos and the artwork, we're not going to have it up here, but like her skull is straight up displayed. I had no idea. It goes so hard. Oh my God. <laughs> like, no, it's because it's nothing but like a, a gold casket with just her on Mary skull. Mary Magdalene? I'm pretty sure it's Mary Magdalene. I mean, work, girl, but why? Because it goes hard. Poor, okay, so like, anyway, so they're like, yeah, we're going to go to France, act like we're on a honeymoon, but people, we, we can't get recognized because we're about to do something kind of crazy. So I'm Hermione. I'm going to go blonde. You're going to go brunette. And we're going to wear these little heart eyeglasses, and it's going to be so cute. And look at that. Little honeymooning tourists. Tell me they're not serving, right? So cute. Okay. So the reason they have to do this, though, is because mm -hmm. the nuns that run this place are apparently an ancient magical witch yes. sect. Because like, of course, you know they're like they're not just muggles that they can just go in no. and like do whatever. So it's like, oh, okay, it's going to be warded because this is a huge mm -hmm. artifact of significance. Yes. For reasons. I mean, well, yes. And so the night before, they have a candlelit dinner in France yes. at a beautiful High little date. restaurant. At this, the hotel is not great, but the restaurant apparently is right. According to what they discover, mm -hmm. they have a fun time with some double entendres. What was it? Hormone. Uh, hormone crotch. and crotch, yeah, like hormone, their names. Like crotch. Yeah, hormone. Yeah, yeah, so they keep laughing about that. The double entendres in this story, they, my middle school brain is. Oh yeah, of course. Giggling. I the I thirteen year old so still funny. inside me was giggling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so they have that cute little romantic dinner, and the entire time Draco is going through that back and forth of pretty, pretty, she pretty. Pretty? Like, and then, yeah, oh, pretty. yes, this is the moment where, like, she, for the first time, she doesn't wear, like, sleeves, and she notices there's a glamour charm on her yeah, arm. Yeah, he's like, there's something about her arm. And he notices that's where Bellatrix had carved mudblood mud into blood. her arm. And he's like, years. uh. Oh, we also forgot to mention, there's a part um, earlier on where she goes to Malfoy Manor, and um, she has a panic attack when she goes yes. there because of how she was tortured by... um. Bellatrix, Bellatrix and stuff, there. and it's just which is just ties back into all of that. It, I love how she, this author, had like that is still with her, and that is why she's kind of so like of Draco at first, but he's just so so she so great. You know, regardless, she falls, she falls, and yeah, so mm -hmm. they do all that, mm -hmm. and then the next day, it's time to break into a monastery as yep. one does. If anyone could, it's her. Mm -hmm. So they, does. you know, magically oh, up, match so themselves cute. up and trick the nuns into thinking they're just idiotic tourists. Yeah, bumbling they go on tourists. In, they stun a nun, turn her into stun a, a pew. They turn this girl into a pew. This Good poor nun. This mm -hmm. poor nun, we think, 
And then they start breaking into the, like the crypts and stuff. And there are so many wards all over the place. And Draco like is brought along because like he's an expert at wards and like you know mm -hmm. deconstructing them. Yeah. And the entire time he's like, "God damn, these are some dark magic wards. He's like, this these shit's hard. These nuns are popping off." Yes, right now. if anyone could. As they're walking on down, they see a severed goat's head in a pentagram, and they're <laughs> like, "Okay." Um, I read that and I was like, <laughs> "You're joking." Yeah. And they're like, all right, so if we basically if we cross that, we get possessed by a demon. Word, Work. let's go this way instead. Yeah. They do all that. They find a cruciatus floor. Mm -hmm. That's um, crazy. Then they finally find the skull of Mary Magdalene working together. And, you know, Mary Magdalene's skull starts speaking and is like, what's up, pretty boy? Yeah, she's kind of serving God. For a head, absolutely. She's yeah. serving. And they're like, they mention her cheekbones. They're like, ooh. Yeah. They're like, Miss Girl. I live. Is that crazy of me to say that I just said that? Probably. Oh, Mary Magdalene? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> About her skull. It's like, oh my God, Mary Magdalene. But she, they're like, she's like giving, you know? Serving cunt Mary Magdalene. Oh my gosh. I mean, looking at the material. 2,000 years after Jesus? Wow. <laughs> her. Still got it. Mm -hmm. So they touch the skull and it turns out to be a port key mm -hmm. and they end up in this really dangerous cellar. Thankfully, Granger still has her little ring port key on so mm -hmm. they can get out of there. Yep. And they do and end up in the desert. Mm -hmm. um, Draco is pissed at the nuns because like, they're crazy. Sorry, I gasped nuns. when I saw that picture. Oh yeah, that's a hot picture that's coming up. <laughs> yeah, literally yeah, yeah, gasped. Yeah, yeah. Um, those of you who are just listening, yeah. there's a hot shower pic that just popped up behind Ooh, us. Baby. You should watch the video. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they end up in the desert. They figure out where they are. They watch the stars together. And end up in a hotel called the Seneca. Yes. Later on, they shower everything, and that's where this one comes. Because as he's hopping out of the shower, he's like, "He's like, wait, let me look hot first. No, second. literally, he has a moment. He's like in the mirror. He's like, okay, so what if I just like have my robe just so, and I'm glistening, bit. and I, oh, and he's like, Granger's gonna live. Let's not dab away this water just yet. Let's no. let it just slide on down. Yes, he Great. walks out, and he's like, he's like. Like, you know, hey. hey. Didn't see you there. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, yeah, okay. Like, okay la, 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 la. Yeah. He's like, oh. He's like so let down by her not caring. I think she starts talking about like Russian irrigation or something. Like yeah. That. And he's like, I'm like not even looking. He's like, this is wasted. Yeah. <laughs> this is wasted. And I you. agree. Look at him. <laughs> he's like, there are witches who would die for this view. And, and she's on this couch. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So <laughs> they start heading on down. You know, just to head on back home because they don't want to be, they want an alibi for stealing Mary Magdalene's skull because they still need it for a couple things. Yeah. And they head on down. She runs into Cormac McClagan. Oh, boo, boo, disgusting. tomato, tomato. Um, and quickly like hides before he like really notices her. So he mm -hmm. starts talking to Draco instead. Mm -hmm. and it's like, I could have sworn I saw you with Hermione Granger. And he's like, Granger. me and Hermione Granger. You're crazy. <laughs> More like, yeah. might as well say I stole the skull of Mary Magdalene, yeah. right? No way. <laughs> That would ever happen. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Whoa. Whoa. And he's like, oh, I guess I must have been tripping. And then, you know, Draco's getting like weird energy from this guy. So he performs like a quick little legitimacy on him, mm -hmm. like looking at his eyes, then finds out all the awful times that like yeah. he's encountered Granger and like is still like weirdly pursuing Creepy, her. Scary. Including one time like at a bar, like he kind of kind of cornered her a little bit. Yeah. And was like, here's stuff. a little smoochy smooch. And she's like, get the fuck no, away from me. And so he gets really pissed. And he's then, protective, you know, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Well, of course, he's her protector, protector, the horror. He's just doing his job. As the one thing they keep going back to is like, no, I can't be with her because she's my principal. Yeah, you know? she's, I'm you know. Principal I'm pr being like, you know, the target of his right, right, investigation. Right. He's, yeah, her like, uh, whatever. Yeah. And so he finds <sighs> it out, talks to Granger about that, and she's kind of like, no, it's fine. So he invites Cormac to Quidditch one time, and... Poor Cormac ends up getting a really bad oh concussion, God. falling off his broom and everything. Breaks like every bone in Cormac's yeah. body. Bummer. Oh my like, gosh. Oh, sorry. That, that one bludger, the ball that moves on its own, just kept attacking you, man. I don't know what's I to wonder do with why. It. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming to my game at my house. Oh yeah. my gosh. That's <laughs> it's so crazy. Good. It's so good. Um, and Granger finds out and is like really pissed. And so yeah. she sends him a howler when he's on a stakeout trying to find this guy who's kidnapped this animal called a Nundu. Which is yes. a massive like metal lion. I was like, what whoa! I it. It's this mythological beast, very venomous. Think similar to like a chimera, if yes. like you can't like picture what a nundu is. Super um, cool. 
But yeah, he's trying to catch it, and catch the howler it. ruins it. He finds out, like, whoa, who the fuck is watching me? And he disapparates yeah. out of there, and Draco's like, I'm pissed. So he goes to yell at Granger, and Granger starts yelling at him, and they're screaming at each other in their doorway about how <laughs> mad they are at each other. Because, like, Granger didn't want him to get involved with the McLagan thing because, like, he is on the St. Mungo's board of directors, too. So it's, like, right. a whole hassle for her now. And he's like, well, I'm sorry. And she's like, well, I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Granger's food is burning. Oh. And so they sit there course. for a while afterwards and they're like, he's really been hurting a Nundu and keeping it captive for blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah. Were you really something, something, something? Mm -hmm. And she's like, yeah. Did you just burn your dinner? She's like, yeah. Do you want to come over for dinner Do at my place? Do you want to come to my place, place for my dinner? My mom isn't home. Yeah, my Malfoy Manor is empty for our use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they head on over. The house elves immediately start putting on the moves for Draco and being like, yeah. oh my God, Master Draco, I heard that his, yeah, whoa. They're wingmen to the max. Mm -hmm. Henriette, I live for her. Did you hear he's a really good kisser? Yeah. Oh my God. Should we go get the whipped cream ready? I didn't, oh my God. The <laughs> I was I gagged. The whipped cream is why it's worth getting to the end of the slope. Yes, it is. Anyways, so um, they do that. They have dinner. It's la, 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 la. very nice. They drink quite a bit because the house elves keep parting down that wine. Yes, Henriette. She's she's a girly. Mm -hmm. Henriette, the house elf. Mm -hmm. And then they then she's like, hey, after dinner, you guys should go through a walk. Go for a walk through the gardens, guys. Mm -hmm. I know. <gasps> Perfect timing. Hila Granger would absolutely love going to the gardens mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. And he's like. Okay, might as well. Mm -hmm. And they do. They wander on through, kind of holding each other the entire time. They're smelling the flowers. The flowers, together. the roses. Mm -hmm. Did you see the oh, author? Nice. Like, I don't know if you were listening or reading at this point, but the author was like, sorry for all the Beauty and the Beast references. Mm -hmm. It was giving that. that. Yeah. I live. Um, it's actually right after this chapter that I started binging the listening to. So oh, okay. everything past this point, I literally read today. Work. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go, because there's still a lot left. Yeah, so... After all that, he finally, they do a sting operation on this person holding the Nundu, mm -hmm. and huge fight breaks out and ensues. The Nundu breaks out, and, you know, Draco ends up getting covered in acid at one point. Oh, yeah, that was Because this thing spits acid. Mm -hmm. He ends up in the hospital dying. Yeah, like literally know, almost dead. Wakes up. Good thing he knows a healer. Yeah, gonna, good thing he knows the best healer the around. The best healer slash doctor around who can, ma like, meld both and... He, like literally magical mm -hmm. heals him to no end and Narcissa like was like a mess because she's mm -hmm. like freaking out like losing her son you guys needed to save my <laughs> son and you guys did and then like he's under so much like anesthesia and like magical potion at this point he's like looking at Granger like, he's like why don't you I come over really here I really want to kiss you yeah why don't you come over here girl sit on my like, lap you will not remember this he's yes. like I still want to kiss you and then the next line is he woke up and he remembered every word. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, he did. So good. Mm. Um, yeah, so it, it it turns into a whole thing. She's like, doesn't she throw a party for? No, she doesn't. But Theo not does. Theo not. A yes, a party later is thrown for her. On. Okay. So, where am I? Yes. Theo skipping forward a lot about the same stuff. Um, you know, he's healing up and he's going to bring her. Uh, flowers, he does that, and he Nar Narcissa's like, that Hermione Granger is pretty cool. She mm -hmm. saved your life. She's kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. She's like smart, and people love her. And pretty. And pretty. You Have I and mentioned single. she's pretty and single? And, like, and she's like, you know what you should do? You need to go take her flowers. To you need to go. Go thank her for wink, saving wink. your life. And he does that. They get to chat, and again, everything kind of falls you know, back to his equilibrium again without mm -hmm. romantic walks through his garden. Um, then all of a sudden, some people try to break into her lab. Mm -hmm. What? Oh my gosh. So he quickly shows up, takes care of all that lickety split while he was playing some Quidditch immediately her. over there. Um, saves Granger and is like, all right, now I need you to tell me what you were working on. Yeah. Because that's, that's too serious now. People have broken in, so this is yeah. real. And she's like, I'm going to cure werewolves. What? What? Yo. Mm -hmm. that's a big one that's what I'm saying I'm like maybe she cured that guy of being a werewolf but like she wasn't close to clinical trials yet she still needed one that's more thing, true you know? that's true that's true that's true so um, yeah and, and Draco's like girl what the heck mm -hmm. and then they find out that the person who has probably been doing all this stuff like looking into her and like suspicious activities have been happening with werewolves is Fenrir Greyback mm -hmm. he's still alive and was in hiding remember he's him out. remember him he was scary fella. yeah mm -hmm. he um, fucked up mm -hmm. Lavender Brown real hard so they do all that, so he immediately goes over to her place so she can gather, like, her things for the most part and, like, 
they agree that like we'll spend the night here, but then after that we'll have to find a safe house for you. Right. So he's covered in you know dirt, blood, and all this type of stuff, and he's like, "All right." And she's like, "Yeah, go take a shower because the house is all still warded up from when Draco mm -hmm. did it." He goes to do that, and this chapter is called Draco Malfoy, literal wanker. <laughs> um, for those of you who can read between the lines on what he might do in that shower after like dealing with Granger and all that <laughs> adrenaline that he's been that's just really been pent up for him. For a while now. Just a really, just come, really. Come to that conclusion yourself. Come to that conclusion. Oh, to that conclusion, no. Guys. Really come to that. You're conclusion. crazy for that. Yeah. Um, Not the breath. Alex are just mm. crazy. Anyways. La -da 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 -da. He feels a lot better after that. He does. Family. He does. He does. Yeah. All good. All good. Ranger collects your things. And then, you know, Ron and Harry are like freaking out like, oh, my God, she was attacked. We have to find it. And they all now know that the wearable attacks that have been increasing are because of this cure that she's been developing. He, they're also trying, Fen, uh, what is his name? Grayback? Yeah. Um, he's, they're try him and his, like, pals, I guess, are trying to make it so that they can infect people regardless of whether it's a full moon. Yeah, they're trying to turn it into COVID, like an yeah. airborne type thing. Right, they're trying to get people. COVID, but werewolves. Yes. Um, And so they're all talking about, like, all right, um, Hermione should come stay with one of us. And they're like, no, that's the first place they'll think to look with their best friends. Yeah, yeah. And then Ron's like, well, why don't we just send him, in, send her in with Malfoy? No one's going to look for him at her there. Like, that's and a they're all like, very safe place. Everyone's like, hmm. And Drake in the entire room is like, thank you, Ron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. I never Who thought I'd not? have to thank this guy, but yeah. all right. He's got some pretty good ideas. Yeah. Um, and so she ends up moving into the manor for a little bit, mm -hmm. taking Crookshanks, that little fucker. <laughs> I love the disdain he's, that Crookshanks has for Draco. It's how is this fucker still alive? Yeah, Measles live up to fifty years. Shut. He's a cat that you've had since you were thirteen. <laughs> yeah. How is he still doing stuff? Oh my god. I love okay. So okay. So yeah, we gotta keep on moving, guys. <laughs> yep. Um, Theo not ends up throwing a party to thank Granger for you know saving Draco's life. Yes, they end up going. They end up dancing a little bit. Yeah. Um, lot they. Theo uh, puts a, like a drop of amortensia in some champagne. So Isn't that, that funny? It tastes exactly like what you would love or yeah, something you, like that. Yeah, yeah. No like druggy effects. It's anything. like microdosing. They even say that microdosing yeah, amortensia, mm -hmm. which is so fun. Like, there's no effects. It's just the the champagne itself is going to be a lot better. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like kind of flirtier. And they both lie about what they're smelling from the mm -hmm, champagne because it smells like each other. Mm -hmm. And there's you know there's a little bit of drinks and there's not enough chairs so. So, Theo oops. has the great idea, like, oh, I guess you got to sit on Draco's laugh, lap, uh, Hermione. And she's like, I'm not going to do that. And he's like, I guess you're scared. And she's like, bet. And then she well, does. And then, you know, they just kind of sit there staring at each other, <laughs> talking at each other, mm -hmm. rubbing circles into each other's backs. Slow burn style. Slow burn. Slow burn style. <laughs> and then, you know, they head on back home. And, you know. Draco was like, well, let's get that one dance that we didn't really get to have yeah, in they the didn't, manor. Mm -hmm. so they were all dancing around with each other, yep. not with each other. They have a dance with just the two of them. And this is what I, I was reading this this morning while eating <laughs> cereal. I can't believe you read this this morning. And, you know, they're sitting there, they're dancing, they're looking at each other. And this this moment captures like a first kiss for a will they, won't they so perfectly because mm -hmm. when they do, I literally jumped up and started pumping my fist like, let's he go. He texted me that. Let's He's like, go. I'm jumping up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Because you were just texting me like an update on our Instagram or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I'm, I'm jumping up and down. Um, I think that this book so perfectly encapsulates what it feels like to like be crushing on someone. Yes. And to like, like I've never seen it so like well articulated before. This moment was so good. Oh, you get to it like you'll understand what we mean. You guys, like, you guys, read it because mm -hmm. it's so good. So I'm like getting, <gasps> I want to punch something. It's so and good. And they kind of don't talk for a while after that because mm -hmm. they're like, that was probably a bad idea. We're drunk. So yeah. And they, start, and they push away again back for that slow burn moment. Because, of course, you know, as soon as they, oh. And then when he gets kidnapped. She gets kidnapped. <gasps> she gets kidnapped by some people. So he shows on up and starts attacking like crazy. They find out the people who kidnapped her were werewolves. And they're, ooh, they got her in the one moment she wasn't under aura protection. Mm -hmm. So they start, you know, he 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 kind of, you know, kills them all. Well, Except yes. for one guy to interrogate. Yeah. Um, it's pretty intense. I love, I live for him. It's giving like the, who hurt you? Who, who did this to you? Oh my God. 
I'm so scared of that. You, you don't like the. I don't. To you. It's. I don't like. See, ew. <laughs> if you guys like it, work no, for you. But I don't. Like that. <laughs> That's too deep. Scared. That's this should be. This should be the timbre right here. There we go. Don't look at me. No. When you do that. <laughs> don't look. <laughs> <laughs> Move the camera and stuff. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Wow. Okay, anyways, keep, so, let's continue, please. One more thing for this cure to be in effect, and it's something from Pandora's Box, which is held by this French collector. Well, yeah, this French, part, no Spanish. This part was so cool. Was, yeah. Like, he, like, they're, well, first of all, so they need to be disguised, of course. And mm -hmm. so instead of Draco Malfoy being Draco Malfoy, how about Hermione? How about you be Draco? So and, she's, mm -hmm. you know, Draco. And they turn Draco into a dog. A little dog. And to get on in there for this collector, they have to entice him, but with something for, for his collection. So they bring the remains of the Elder the Wand. The Elder Wand. Callback. So they, act, this is written like it was all an accident. So they accidentally show up in Hogsmeade and get lost. They accidentally knock over Dumbledore's tombstone. They accidentally Oops. make the, the Elder Wand accidentally just falls out into their hands. And they accidentally replace it with a fake one and mm -hmm. go on their way. Yeah. Um, so they do that, they get in there and they see the guy's collection mm -hmm. and they are- gadgets and gizmos are plenty. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of cool stuff in mm -hmm. there. And- Like what were they, there was a lot of Greek- um, Yes, that's the go-to. Yeah. Uh, the ship of Theseus' mast. Yes. wants the golden fleece. There was so many references that were so mm -hmm. cool. Um, read it to find them all out. Yeah, I don't I remember, can't remember them all. It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it was really cool. So they get what they need in this instance, all while Draco gets to pretend to be a little puppy, distracting mm -hmm. him, and the, this collector is like, he's such a good boy, look at him go. He's just a silly little guy. <laughs> Does he give kisses? Hermione's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> but he's constipated, and Draco looks and is like, I'm happy to be constipated. Ah. <laughs> it's really cute, it's really cute. So, all that happens, and then, as we said earlier, Draco makes a contribution after they get out to St. Mungo's for a Granger. And it's the long-term ward that gets completely redone. Yeah. And one of the stipulations is that uh, McLagan gets kicked off the board yeah. for that donation. And they happily do it. So McLagan's yeah. pissed. Her bye, bye, bitch. Her. Yeah. And, yeah. Whoever's doing all that outside, kindly stop. Uh, if you Thank that, you. We apologize. Ugh. Somebody. We have stuff to talk about, and it's more important than your little vroom vrooms. They have no idea we're talking about We're talking about art. Here. Shut up. Anyway. So, all that happens, and they, they, they've they kissed some more now, and they've done more than kissing at this point. They have, mm -hmm. you know. You know what part really got me? I, don't, I couldn't tell you exactly when it was, but they were at a dinner, and he, like, reaches under and, like, grabs her ankle. And he's like holding onto her ankle. I don't know why, but that I was, was like. That was the dinner from um, earlier that we, where they walked yeah. in the garden I was afterwards. like, oh, baby. Mm -hmm. They had me from the first dinner in France. Honestly. No, yeah. really. Um, Attention. So, oh, at one point, doesn't he call her a, she, he's like, she's going to call me a, a um, loathsome little cockroach or whatever. Mm -hmm. Remember that? The callbacks? Yeah. The callbacks are so cute. Um, when do they show each other? The scars? Yes. That, that coming is. Up? Um, that is after uh, they break into the thing. Oh, okay. Draco starts putting on the moves. I th they break yeah. into the uh, the collector's place, and so, so they show each other each other's scars. Where he yeah. has his dark mark still that he tried to like cut off, essentially. So it's yeah, all he's mangled like up, and mutilated still there. dark mark. So they share their scars, and they kind of sit in their one bed together because there's not there's only one there's bed, only guys. Darn it. Oh man, Ooh. what are we gonna do? And there's the room's too small to transfigure another bed. I guess they'll have to share one. Don't. Oh, man. God, that would <laughs> suck if they shared a bed and, <laughs> you know, didn't stay on their own sides, which they most <laughs> certainly do not. Of course not. And they explain, it's like, you know what? It is Samhain. It is, or however I'm, you want to Isn't it like, Sa That's it's not pronounced that way. I always pronounce it Samhain. It's like Sa Manon, Sawan Manon? or something. <laughs> not this again, you guys. I'm so sorry. Sawan. I think it's like Sawan. Sawan. I'm just going to Google it so that we don't get ourselves into trouble. I, you know what? If anybody is a stickler for the pagan holiday of Samhain, then... You know, <laughs> you know what? I actually... Oh, my God. If any goth witches want to show up and like um, tell me that like, I'm pronouncing it wrong... Which is Halloween, wrong, by the way. Oh, my gosh. That would, that would be so bad if any goth girls showed up and were like, here's how it's pronounced and like wanted to put me in my place. Ooh. Samhain. Samhain? Yeah. Sawi. Samhain. There you go. Samhain. My yeah. bad. All right. 
Samhain. <laughs> that yeah. sounds like someone's name. Oh, it's spelled. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Samhain. So they've now done that. Da da. They all dot, dot, dotted. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And we lived. And there's it's just like, but not still too not much. talking about it. They, yeah. They fully did. But like, oh, they know. did. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I was, I was on the smut couch reading this part, guys. That was, that's, yeah. You got, yeah, literally at work today. Mm hmm Um, just making eye contact with Maddie. And just like, hey. I don't like, <laughs> giggling. So, okay. after that, everything falls back into its normal order. Yep. Then, guess what happens? <clears throat> Granger is kidnapped. Again! Yet again. This girl got to stop getting kidnapped. Mm -hmm. So, they get with all the other auras and they find Greyback and his whole pack that he's got going yep. on. They charge on in. Huge battle ensues. You know, they're able to get to Hermione Granger and they're like, okay, we got to get you out of here. It's Draco, Harry, and Ron that are all kind of like teaming up to like get on through. They're well, fighting I werewolves. also want to stop really quick because he can't, his, he can't locate her from the ring. Yes. Um, and he's like, I can't feel her. I can't find her. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole time he was... Uh, her hairpins. Tracking her hairpins. He pins. was tracking her hairpins, mm -hmm. which was so, I was like, oh. She's got so many of those because her hair is wild. She's for those got some wild remember. hair and he's tracking her hairpins. So he found her through her hairpins. It's cute. He's tracking her every, at all times. You guys, it's, it's fine. You know, I was there today when your girlfriend was tracking you earlier. It yeah. was so silly. I was at work. Yeah. Because <laughs> we were like, where is he? And you're like, oh, he's right here. And I was like, ha. Ah. <laughs> you know, you got to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. have, you, have your... I go two places, home and work. Yeah, me too. Okay. okay so. They, they're doing all that, and Granger's like, "Here, give me a wand. I have an idea." Cool. And this she so starts doing some things with a fire, and they're like, "We'll start holding them off." But like, they're getting beaten down and everything like that. Tonks mm -hmm. is there too. They're all fighting. Zap, zap, bop, boop. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> Zip, zap, zap for Ooh. the theater kids. For those of you who remember, it's just a bunch of clear balls thrown at each other mm -hmm. from the movies. Yeah, exactly. Spelliamus. Yeah. And you know, you know, Harry's going down. Ron's going down. They're just getting like kind of stunned or like knocked unconscious. Yeah. yeah. Draco jumps in front of Hermione when, when a curse is thrown right at her and he gets paralyzed throughout. Mm -hmm. He's like, dang, I shouldn't have done that because I'm, you know, I'm compromised. I, I love her. I, I love her. I, I couldn't risk her getting hurt. Mm -hmm. So he does that and then he's stuck there. And then Greyback walks on up like, oh, ha ha, I'm, I'm the guy. Ha -ha, mm -hmm. I'm the wolf. I'm the baddie. Oh, I'm the, the baddie. Mm -hmm. That's, he's, he's. Oh. I'm the alpha. I'm the leader. Come on, zombies! Sorry. Any zombies stand up? Stand oh, is that there? from? That is from zombies, and I only know it from the cringe TikTok. No, it's from zombies, and I'm a zombie stand. Hi, everyone. Okay, um, and then he's like, "This is what you did. This tiny little fire right here is all you could make." And then they all like he like goes to put it out, and it's like it doesn't get put out. And he's mm -hmm. like, "Oh my god, you well guys. that's weird." Then the fire turns green. What it's is a green flu. fire? It's a flu. She made a little portable flu, and then it starts expanding. <laughs> Guess who walks out of the fire? The, the nuns. nuns. Pause. Earlier today, I was at work. We were both at work. And I was with my friend, Domides, who also read this. And we're like talking about it. Da -da 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 -da. Alexander comes busting through a door. Nuns! Screaming when he got to this part. And then I closed the door again and continued reading. Yeah, yeah. it was so funny. We were like, yeah! Because everyone else in the room was like, they what were like, the fuck did he what just say? Is he talking about? I love that this chapter is named Deus Ex Machina. Because literally the nuns come. Yeah, the nuns the come day. and they saved and the day. What had happened was Hermione had sent the skull back with a note saying, Hey, um, a gang took this, but I wanted to return I it. Found to it. I found it, guys. Um, but I'll activate the spell if you guys ever want to get revenge on whoever did it. And she yeah. like thought it might be ha helpful to have some bloodthirsty nuns in her back pocket. Because these are like dark nuns. They're like, they mean business. So they start fighting back against yeah. the werewolves that start cursing at them. And so they bring out this little goat skull and a pentagram <laughs> and summon, a, summon demon a demon to eat Fenrir or Greyback. Yo, guys, the, my jaw on the floor. It's such a wild ending to no. like an otherwise like pretty normal story. Delightful little rom-com nuns with a demon. Imagine like being told like, oh my God, it's this uh, will they, won't they slow burn. Um, yeah. There's just one thing, nuns show up and summon a demon at the end to eat a werewolf and no, then they right. just kind of peace out. No, like imagine watching 27 dresses and then that happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. It was crazy. And I was so like jaw dropped, like this is so cool, so funny and so wild. Once again, one of these, um, mm -hmm. Fan fictions, writing like the coolest things yeah. in the Harry Potter universe I've ever I, read. For to set the scene, I was eating Dino Nuggets when this was happening. <laughs> yeah, I was eating my lunch. Yeah, Dino Nuggets. 
Nuggies. <laughs> Dino nuggies. Goat yeah. heads. Demons. Nuns, pentagrams. Hermione. Draco. Per. And then they, uh, they peace out. Mm-hmm. And, and they, you know, run. they move on. And yeah. Draco confesses that, you know, he he has feelings for I Hermione. I love you. And they have a little bit of a party at the manor mm-hmm. shortly after. And this next chapter. <laughs> Tell us the name of the chapter. Um, Do you not um, want to? You don't have to. You don't no, no, no. I will. I will. I'm just trying to find the full chapter because I only have like a bit. Do you not have of, all of it? I don't have all of it right Let me now. Let see Hold if on. I can find it. The, yes, I can. You got it? Yes, I do right here. You guys, um, it wait is. for it. So this chapter is called Dynamic Fluid Exchanges, a Practical <laughs> Model. I love fan fiction. <laughs> and there is a practical example of this slow burn finally burning out, I guess, right? Yeah. And it finally and it goes off. We mentioned whipped cream earlier. We didn't mention anything about cufflinks turning into handcuffs earlier, but something in- like that happens. <laughs> yes. And it's just it's for example, everything you ever wanted. For just to set it up in the audio version I was listening to on YouTube. Oh yeah. It's it said, hey, just so you know, I don't want to violate the terms of service of YouTube. So I'm gonna be doing a clean version. If you want the full version, and I immediately swap to read it. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> okay, hold on. Well, let's it's like we really need to figure out what this. this is. You guys, it's kind of crazy. This thing was so sweet and so nice. And then the ending, I was like, I was reading this last night, like, oh my god. <laughs> I was reading this. Were last you night. surprised at how like it, not like I, I you forget I've read a lot more fan fiction. I know you that. have for this one. It was kind of out of nowhere. For yeah, how, yeah, like, that's more what I mean. Like in context been. of like how it's been. All of a sudden, it was like, oh, we, mm-hmm. boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that happens. They confess their feelings for each other. Yeah. Um. Several fluid exchanges later, <laughs> as the chapter would call it. Yeah. Um. They they kind of keep on moving on with life. Uh, Draco gets uh, an Order of Merlin award. Hermione gets several more awards. And, yeah, like, and like expands her lab even more. And like, like she's uh, cured mm-hmm. lycanthropy now. Yeah, and like a bunch of like like universities and things like want to work with her because mm-hmm. she's like. And a bunch everything. of uh, magical doctors are now moving into the Muggle world because they're like, hold on, she was able to apply like Muggle techniques. Yeah, like, she's curing. like revolutionary. Mm-hmm. Like what she created. Magical things. God, she's so cool. And then the last chapter is him. Um, you know, really coming to terms with how he feels and mm-hmm. everything, confessing to Granger, and then showing her uh, the ring, which we remember was her his <gasps> father and mother's like in the family we- betrothal rings. He fixed the one that Fenrir had like taken off or yeah. destroyed, and like set them back to their original things where they would both feel each other. <gasps> and he he offers it to her, and as like a way for them to like truly move forward together. He doesn't want to be free quote unquote, and alone anymore. Yeah. He wants to be free with her. With her. And she says yes. They mm-hmm. put on the rings. It was so magical. And they live happily, happily ever, ever after. after. You oh, guys. It's such a cute, well-written. Like, for real. Like, I'm, you know, phenomenally written. It's not even well-written. No, it's phenomenally like, written. gorgeously beautiful. Because it's so funny. It's so smart. It's so witty. It the tugs on your heart. Yeah. It tugs on your heartstrings and like like just the power of fan fiction is you know and love these characters already. And so like it just it just expands upon it and makes you love them even more, you know? And I think oh. that's, Yeah, that's and the whole time the like parallels between like it's very um Darcy and Elizabeth, it's very Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. And it uh, like ooh their relationship is so natural and comfortable throughout <laughs> of like it's like we said earlier. It really captures that essence of falling in love. Oh wait, I, like, I there were some quotes that I wanted yeah, to say. I'll keep talking. Hold on. For those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just you know those moments where they were really looking at each other and his entire internal monologue. It's like I've felt that before looking at someone. Yes, like you know, you're looking at them and when you're leaning on in for that kiss with all with that heart pounding and everything. You got. It, I've never seen it articulated this could go so, so well. Wrong. It, yeah. Okay. And this is a quote. It says, um, I don't I couldn't tell you exactly when this is because I'm using my little Kindle. <laughs> but it says, his touch lingered probably too long. He wondered what to call this thing, this stealing of glances and touches and moments, the headlong g- giddiness impelled by the most platonic of hugs. 
They, the wanting to be near. He wasn't foolish enough to call it love and it was too delicate for lust, but it wasn't nothing either. It was something. And this is when he was like first coming to terms with mm-hmm. like, this is, I'm more than just. He doesn't want another witch. He, no, he, yeah. He's oh, like, and like just at her. the whole thing of like, like when you're like, have a crush on someone, you're like, no, 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 there's something and it's not anything yet, but the something is. When that something happens. Oh my gosh, you guys. And I have another sp- one. Sparks fly moment. God, sparks so fly. Fun. It's like electricity. Do you know what yes. that is? Yes. I'm just making sure. That, that's Miranda Cosgrove, right? Yes. Okay, my Kindle's I thought you were out. doing Taylor Swift, and I was like, you are doing the wrong no. melody at all. That's kind of the gag. Okay, I'm sorry. My thing is freaking out. I'm working on it still. Well, Say more that you were going to say. Yeah, so <laughs> it's just, you know, we've all felt that before going on through for that, like, that first kiss moment that, you know, maybe holding hands type mm-hmm. of thing. It's all that innocent... First starting off love, yeah. essentially. Oh, okay. No. Here's another one. Um, they looked up at the smoldering stars and the night birds warbled their unearthly cadences and roses dropped their petals in beautiful melancholy. The memory of that night would remain in Draco for a long time afterwards. Moon kissed and sweet, the light in her eyes, the taste of wine, the glitter of starshine in the fountain, the slow seduction of the roses. And then it says something in French that I will not try to say because we've already been roasted on our pronunciation of things. But do I do not have like the man in pronunciation, guys. I'm really sorry. Girl, she I'm is really French. sorry. Um, but I wrote it down. In French, it's saying you have to let yourself be bewitched. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. I think that's a great Great message in general, too. Let yourself be bewitched, guys. May it be just through your silly little fan fiction. Yeah, allow yourself to be bewitched. Don't be afraid because it's fan fiction. Yes. It's this is one of those examples that it's proof that it's like such a talented author is out there and like you know writing Mm -hmm. something that's like. Not even capable of being published. Yeah. But it's so good. What a passion project. And what. And I'm excited if they have written anything else. I know. Or if we they should plan look into to write that. anything else. Is this self care? We love you. Mm-hmm. We love you and we believe in this, you. This was self care for me. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I feel my, myself feel so cared for. And with that in mind, I think we'll be saying thanks for tuning on. Yes. Again. Thank you guys again for commenting, liking, sharing everything. If you guys want to like let us know what you think, that'd be fun too. And yeah, we'd appreciate it. Feel free to keep it. giving us recommendations. We Yes. This was a blast. And we've got more to do, but yeah. Thanks for coming on. Should in. we tell them what we're gonna do next time? Yeah, absolutely. We can. Okay. So um yeah, next time we're gonna be doing the serpent and the wings of night. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it called. You guys, if I butchered that, sorry. But mm-hmm. it's all over book talk and I it's vampires and I'm a twihard, so I'm excited. So if you'd like to be caught up to date with that by the time when we review it for the next episode, yes, then- read it. Read it now. Read it with us. It's like a book club. Little book club. (gasps) Okay. Love you guys. Bye.